is um, is the title of the book is called Sometimes I See. I'm very nervous. Anyway, I just want to say if you're bored about uh, anything you hear, you won't be bored for long because they're very short. And <laughs> you can be as insincere as you like with the applause, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, um, I'll read a couple of them for you and see. <laughs> The first one is called Sometimes I See. Sometimes I see a flicker of a shadow in day or in night, and I'm sure it's the spirit of my father or mother somehow around me now. And sometimes I get the faint smell of forest smoke, of iron cooling in the truck, and then it's gone. But this fleeting evidence gives me a feeling of another parallel world journeying along as we journey along, side by side, so real sometimes. Is it a variety of madness or my own private religion? Either way, I'm happy. I said it was short, so. This one is about um, a man I knew in a village near me, and he was a very witty man, but he, he liked few pints as the same. And the uh, poem's entitled New Suit. Um, Pete drank a lot. He was 45 and lived with his widowed mother. Every night he drank. And one night after drinking he was walking down the high street, both hands in pockets. He tripped over a doorstep and landed on his head, hands still in pockets. Somebody found him and took him to the local doctor. It was 3 a.m. Five stitches later, Pete said, how much do I owe? 50 pounds, said the doctor. Now, how did you arrive at that figure, said Pete? Very simple, said the doctor. 3 a.m., five stitches, 10 pounds a stitch. I don't think I'll have you making my next suit, said Pete. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> This is a very short poem. It's about a girl uh, from Limerick here that I knew very well, and she died very young. Uh, very, very lovely girl. She was um, she was a chef by trade, and uh, she died uh, about three years ago now, and she was only 35 years old, and just one and a half years married. It was a very sad situation, but uh, Mando is her name, and I just wrote this little poem about her. Um, Amanda says, it's called, I took an early flight and you all watched me go. You cried a melancholy tear of care. But I'll be back next time round. Don't worry, because I'm only over there. I know your love for me is never ending. You'd like me to be home for things to share. Talk to me. I'm listening. I'm not too far away. Remember now, I'm only over there. And P.S. I'm head chef here, how about that? <laughs>